I got a few packages to open and uh, I'm excited to get into them. So let's do it. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Now I'm reporting live to you from my brand new comic book room. I have toiled over this room and we're about, I'd say about 90% done, but still got some finishing touches that I need to put on, put up, put up the finishing touches. Is that what you say? Anyway. Got a few touches I need to put up in here and um, we'll, we'll be done and then we'll be ready for the full room tour. In the meantime, I've documented this entire process, so there will be a final installment of moving my collection slash building the ultimate comic book room coming up really, really soon. But in the meantime, um, I got some packages that I need to open up. Um, they actually came to the old house, um, but I somehow overlooked them in my final mail call. So we're going to go ahead and get to them here. Um, these three all come from members of various Facebook groups that I'm in. And I'm really excited about the contents of these packages. So let's put those down so we can look at these one by one. Now, this first one comes from uh, the homie. You may have heard his name on this channel several times before, but this comes from Kev Koss. Um he decided to post up in the K-Squad Facebook group some items that he had for sale, some single issues, he even threw in a couple of freebies uh, if you made a purchase. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. Um, I, you know, of course, I saw something that I couldn't couldn't refuse. I had to take him up on his offer. So um, I don't know where Big Red is. I lost Big Red in the move, I guess. Let me grab a pair of scissors real quick. All right. Got some scissors. Let's get into this flat rate envelope. I can feel it's all soft and cushy. There's a bunch of bubble wrap in here, I can tell. So let's see what we got. All right, this isn't, this isn't the most intuitive way for me to open up a package. Let's see what these hands can do. All right, so we got the flat rate envelope stuffed with bubble wrap and a Gemini mailer. Very cool. Let's pop this Gemini. All right, here we go. Got the Gemini, got painter's tape. You guys know how I feel about painter's tape. I love it. Oh, look at this. We've got more painter's tape, but the painter's tape has pull tabs, little pull tabs to make this unboxing experience even easier. Gotta love it. Gotta love it when your books are packed by someone who also collects. So, got it all done. Ha, very cool. So, I'll start with the book that was the freebie. This is Wolverine number four. This, I believe, is an exclusive variant. Looks like this came in one of those mystery boxes from Street Level Hero. Yeah, unknown comic book, Street Level Hero exclusive cover. You got X-23. Looks like Wolverine is either chasing someone, might be like incapacitated, not really sure. But then you got Gene, you got Jubilee, Rogue, and Gambit all on that cover looking really dope. Gotta love that. Uh, and this, like I said, this was the free book that Kev threw in because I made a purchase. But this, what did I purchase? This right here. Gotta love it. This is Black Cotton issue number one. This was a retailer exclusive cover. Let's see. Let's see, this was exclusive to Hive Comics. But man, I really love this. But yeah, Black Cotton from Scout Comics, written by Patrick Foreman and Brian Hawkins. I've been loving this series so far, by the way. Like, uh, issue three just came out last week. I was uh, fortunate enough to be able to get an advanced copy, um, and it's great. Uh, there's a twist in issue three that I didn't see coming, and I doubt anyone else saw coming. But, like, there's a villain being set up, and the series is taking a turn that 
I don't think anyone expected on top of the great commentary of race and class relations in America. This is one of my top reads of the year so far. Um, so to get this exclusive variant cover for issue number one, I love it. There's no trade dress, um, just a protest scene. A very good looking one at that. So shout out to Kev, shout out to Patrick Foreman, Brian Hawkins. Um, and I can't remember the artist's name on this series at the moment, but it's a great series, a great concept. And now I've got a great cover to go along with it for the collection. So super dope. So that's the first thing I got from a member of the comics community. This is the second. Now, this box comes from Julio Anta. And you guys may recognize that name because Julio is actually the writer of an image comic series that's out right now called Home. Uh, so Julio and I are both in a few Facebook groups together. And so he said that he was posting some things for sale. And I was like, hey, if this comes with a signed copy of Home Number One, I'll take it. Um, and so let's see what we got. Lots of bubble wrap here. Gotta love that. And let's get out our handy dandy scissors here. I should back up a little bit. Anyway. First, we will get into what I bought. Now, we've got a couple of books by Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. I wish I could say it like Mad Dog. Uh, Mad Dog says Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips. He just says it. It's dope. Mad Dog, Marcus, what's up, dude? Uh, but anyway, first up, we got Bad Weekend. This is, uh, I was going to say a trade paperback. This is a hardcover, though. It looks like a standard size hardcover. I'm just eyeballing it. Oh, it's definitely a standard size hardcover. It's the size of the comic book in my hand. But yeah, this is Bad Weekend. Um, let's see. It says, How Crane Should Know. Oh, comics won't just break your heart. Comics will kill you. How Crane Should Know. He's been around since almost the beginning. Stuck at an out-of-town convention, waiting to receive a Lifetime Achievement Award. How's Weekend will take him on a dark ride through the secret history of a medium that's always been haunted by crooks, swindlers, and desperate dreamers. Really dope. Um, so yeah. Very cool. This is interesting. So this is Bad Weekend. Uh, and I also got another book by Brew Baker and Phillips. This is My Heroes Have Always Been Junkies. That's a heck of a title, right? Um, let's see. This is the first original graphic novel from best-selling creators of Criminal, Killer Be Killed, The Fade Out, and Fatal. Ellie has always had romantic ideas about drug addicts. Tragic souls drawn to needles and pills have been her obsession ever since the death of her junkie mother. But when Ellie lands in an upscale rehab clinic where nothing is what it seems, she'll find another more dangerous kind of romance. Uh, from the award-winning team of Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips comes a pop and drug culture fuel tale of a young girl seeking darkness and what she finds there. Definitely sounds like more of a mature read. Um... But yeah, these kind of dark, gritty books seem to be like the hallmark of the Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips team. And I'm excited to have uh, two books to add to this collection. It looks like these are both going to be pretty quick reads. So I'll probably read each of them and do like a, a retro review on them. Um, but I literally only bought these because they came with this. This is home. Number one, I believe this is the second printing variant. And of course, I got it signed by the author, Julio Anta. Very, very dope. Now, Home is a series about a kid who is basically immigrating to America with his mother. They get separated at the border. 
Um, it's very on the nose politically. Like uh, there's no hiding it. A lot of the dialogue comes straight from the headlines from cable news. So if you are trying to stay away from politics in your comics, this isn't the one for you. But this is really cool. Like at the end of issue one, he finds out he has these powers and they're kind of these latent abilities are coming to to bear. Um, and we got to see how he's going to deal with having these powers being, you know, uh, basically a weapon wanted by the government, um, but also missing his family, and trying to figure out how to be reunited with his mom. So that's super cool. Um, that's a great series so far. I think issue three is out this week. Yeah, issue three is out this Wednesday. So if you're following that, pick it up. Um, and I'm going to enjoy my signed copy. It's going to go on display somewhere in this room. Uh, but yeah, so very cool package from Julio. Shout out to you, man. Thank you. And lastly, I got one more book here. This is from Aaron, the homie Aaron C. Uh, Aaron and I are in a few Facebook groups together. Um, you guys know that I have a relationship with JP of Organic Price Books. And Aaron, I hear, is one of JP's favorite customers. So, very cool. When he said that he had these books for sale or this book for sale, I just thought it was the best time to go ahead and pick it up. And so I did. And as soon as I cut through all this tape, you guys will see what it is. I'll tell you what, whatever's inside here, I promise wasn't stolen. It's still in here. I can guarantee that. All right. Fun part about this packing tape is always trying to figure out exactly where to get. All right, here we are. Moment of truth. Oh wow, this is brand new. I didn't know this. I didn't know this was gonna be brand new. But this is Berserk. This is the Berserk Deluxe Edition, Volume One, by Kentaro Mura. Um, Kentaro, yeah, Kentaro Mura. Um. I don't know much about this series except that everybody that reads collected editions on YouTube swears by it. Um, this will be my first manga. Uh, I know that Berserk has a million volumes. I think volume seven of these deluxe editions is out right now. Maybe eight. I think volume seven is the most recent one. And I do know that, unfortunately, Kentaro Mura just recently passed. And he did so, of course, without finishing this work. So it's going to remain incomplete or at least not concluded um at least for the time being maybe some of his team or someone will pick up the story and finish it um perhaps with his blessing or was already you know tapped to do so but these berserk volumes are printed by dark horse comics and they are evergreen so when his passing happened i was like maybe i should grab these volumes uh while they can still be grabbed you know you never know what happens with people's estates? Are things going to change? Who's going to publish what? Um, but I didn't want to like just rush to buy something just because someone passed. Um, but anyway, when I saw that Aaron posted this in the Gemini's Facebook group, I think it was a Gemini's group, and it was for sale. And I was like, yo, I'll go ahead and buy that. So this is Berserk Volume 1. Um, I'm excited. I mean, I, this artwork looks really, really good. I've heard that this story is definitely like it's action packed, but it can be like brutal. So I'm not sure when I'm going to read it, like how soon I'm going to get to it, but I'm at least going to thumb through it um, and see if it's something that I want to continue since there are going to be so many volumes. Um, but yeah, as far as the construction of it, this thing is beautiful. It almost feels like a Bible. Um, that's not blasphemous to say. But yeah, so this is really cool. Very cool book. Very thick, but it feels great. And Aaron, this thing arrived in immaculate condition. So shout out to you for the way you shifted. It was hard for me to get into, but obviously it was hard for any damage to get inside also. So that's the haul, man. This is just this is just a great haul, a great mail call from some people in the comic book community. So once again, shout out to Kev for sending me this black cotton number one retailer exclusive um, along with this wolverine issue four retailer exclusive cover shout out to julio anta uh, for first autographing this copy of home issue number one for me but then also 
for sending this Ed Brubaker and Sean Phillips books for me to peruse. Um, and then, like I said, shout out to Aaron for the immaculate shipping on this Berserk Volume 1. So that's going to do it for today's haul, today's mail call. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Uh, if you are interested in any of these books, I know the Berserk Volume 1 is still available at our Getting Price Books. Uh, so you can check them out. Use the link in the description below. You'll save $2 on every single order. And while you're looking in the description, you can go ahead and join the K-Squad. It's my private Facebook group for people who love comics and want to talk about them like I do. Um, and then while you're in the description, check out our other channel sponsors to get savings on some great comic book items. But anyway, I hope you saw something you liked in this video. And if not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others. Because kindness makes the world go round. I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace.